Hello all. In this video we will see how we can implement the small language model Tiny Llama as a chatbot loop using Intel NPU. So what is the objective today? We would be doing a chat interaction that is a code creates a chatbot capable of engaging in interactive conversations takes user input generates a response using a language model and continues the conversation in a loop so make sure like what is the objective the last thing that is it is in a loop it would do a conversation language model optimization the optimization part of the large language model would be done with Intel NPU acceleration library or Intel NPUs uh, available as a specialized hardware for machine learning tasks. Then we are doing context management. The code manages the conversational context, keeping track of the most recent messages to the to provide relevant and coherent responses. It trims the context if it exceeds a maximum length to prevent memory issues. Okay. So code explanation. So we are using Visual Studio Code to get started with. Our language of choice is Python because the NPU acceleration library that we are looking for is available in Python itself. So libraries for profiling PyTorch model uh, is being imported first. Transformers for working with pre-trained language model. As we know, like if you want to work on large language models, transformers are necessary. So we are bringing transformers. We are using threading to potentially run inference and text uh, streaming concurrently. Then we are using the Intel NPU acceleration library for uh, optimization. This is our main target that we are trying to showcase how NPU can be used for compiling the Llama model or the large language model or the language model that we have for our usage and use it to see how the inference occurs and how much it utilizes. So we'll uh, offload the entire um, inference part for the compilation as well as when the conversation happens in the NP. We'll see it in action. Models and tokenizer setup loads the tiny 1.1 uh, billion model and corresponds, corresponding tokenizer. Sets the padding token to the same as the end of the sequence token, which is common practice for chat models. Initializes a text streamer to handle the streaming output of the text as a as model generates it then we are moving into the NPU compilation mode uh, this is the primary thing that we are attempting to do attempts to compile the model on Intel NPUs if the acceleration library is installed it can fall back if it if Intel NPU is not there it would fall back on CPU or GPU uh, we are doing context management initializes an empty list to store the conversation history in the form of token IDs such as a maximum length of limit memory message so how the conversation occurs it enters a loop that continues until the user types exit or quit okay gets user input using input tokenizes the user's input using tokenizer appends the new token to context token list trims the context if it exceeds the maximum length prepares the input for the model including setting the input ids using the streamer for output enabling sampling and getting sampling parameters calls model or generate to get the model's response which is streamed to the users using the streamer updates the context with the model's response for the next round why this is useful interactive chatbot this code provides a basic framework for building an interactive chatbot Hardware NPU acceleration. The use of the Intel NPU acceleration library demonstrates how you can leverage specialized hardware for potential faster inference. Const contextual responses. The contextual management ensures the model responses are relevant to ongoing conversation. And sampling parameters. The use of the top underscore K and top underscore P sampling helps to control the creativity and the diversity of the model's responses. So let's see this is in action this is the code that we see we are bringing all the imports at the first time then we are initializing the tiny llama 1 billion chat model and after that we are compiling for an npu if it's available if it is not there it is falling back here we are creating the context management where the maximum context length 
is 4096 you can adjust it based on your model and memory then you define a function where you are you getting a user inf input as you start and while true if you want to exit the conversation you have to type in exit or quit to just get out of the conversation itself now we are generating the new token using query as well as returning the tensors for that there is a contextual token extended trim context to avoid exceeding models max length because we have to take care that uh, there is no overlapping happening so we have uh, put in this context where the length of the context token is when it is greater than maximum context length context token would be uh, the context token as well as the maximum context length so we are generating the, um, the the entire information and we are uh, putting it into the NPU device if, uh, if it is available then we are printing the details of it so the conversation works accordingly so let's see this in the action I have opened up the task manager to show like currently the NPU state, state stages or the states of the NPU right now it's zero it's not utilizing at all but as soon as I go back and I start my conversation uh, by using Python and the demo name is NPU demo 1506 I just created it two days back that's why I have named it in the same convention I will just run this program and you see the utilization of NPU increasing over here ok so currently it's in 16 percent it's compiled a model for the NPU now I will just ask some question like um, what are the things you uh, you can help me with And hit enter. You will see right now in the NPU zero section here, the utilization is uh, fifty three percent. Currently, the model is being offloaded to NPU, and NPU is giving the response of it. And you see that the response is also very fast. I will just ask give me more details of training so as you can see like it's uh, working on its own and it's entering a chatbot loop where it is giving uh, information regarding that that there is a conversation happening between the um, the user and the chatbot it's trying to feed more information and uh, and you as you can see like it's using npu to the fullest over here now the utilization of npu is 50 percent over here so how can you measure the effectiveness of our uh, strategies and how can you use this information so it's just uh, feeding us with lot of details and information as as you know that I have mentioned above that it's a chatbot loop that it is entering so it uh, tries to get all the information late, uh, related to training and gives you all the details we'll just pause for a while uh, see when it is that context is complete and there is rapid streaming also happening over here so that's the th way we can get started with uh, using a chatbot model uh, with complete offload to NPU itself and it is very useful because in this cases we get uh, to offload the entire large, uh, large language model but in context to small language model itself on the NPU and it gives your gives you all the details now if I just click on quit over here it exists out it uh, gave all the information that's available and if you can rightly see right now the NPU usage is zero right now it is getting to the lower point uh, 